Nobody wants to get united. Like what we gotta do is meet everybody in home 49th Street at the bench. So today's video is sponsored by Gammon, so we're gonna stress test and take a look at the tablet while doing some of your guys' artwork. Now, although this video is sponsored, all of my reviews are always honest and genuine, so I'm not being paid in order to like, you know, make this product sound good. If I don't like something, I will let you guys know. On that note, if you use the link in the description, you can get this tablet for under 50 bucks. It's currently even on sale. Now, if you're watching this video after August, I think the price goes back to normal because it's currently on sale, but even then I think it's still under 60 bucks, which makes digital art extremely accessible. So out of the box, you're gonna get, boom, the pen, kinda need that one. Then you get a bunch of replacement nibs as well as this little tool to help you replace the nibs. You also get the cord for the actual tablet itself, a nice fancy glove, as well as two phone adapters, one for iPhones and the other one for Androids. This is gonna make the tablet compatible with whatever drawing software you have on your phone. I unfortunately can't test that because my phone is a potato. And obviously we have the tablet. Boom, boom, boom. Wow, this is slick. This is a six and a half by four inch tablet, which is a pretty decent working size. At least it's comfortable for me. This is a whole bunch of stuff that comes out the box for a tablet that costs only 40 bucks. All right, so let's get into some of your guys' art. Let's check out what this tablet can do. So getting into the speed painting, we had a couple of submissions that were mind boggling. And I, 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 what am I supposed to do to this? Other than like a few 3D errors where the form isn't quite right, this piece is phenomenal. And for anybody who can't read this, this says writers. You have the W here, the R, I, T, E, R, Z. This is an absolutely phenomenal piece. The letter structures are on point. The negative space management letter name weight is perfect. The interior details in the fill-in. Oh my gosh, this is immaculate. Now, we are gonna end up painting over one image and completely drawing a different one. I was and Rat King from our community went ahead and gave me this character to redraw. You can find their Instagram down below. And I didn't know exactly what direction I wanted to take this because I wasn't like given much information of the actual character themselves. So I made them a hard rock harmonica player. That's right, they play the electrical harmonica in a death metal band. That's the story I'm going with. And if you guys don't like it, hey look, it's already canon, all right? I tried to keep a lot of the same features Features, but give it more emotion, give it more character, because I feel like that's something the first character lacked. So I took the X over the eyes, I took the, you know, the straight mouth with the tongue hanging out, and I made that into a mask that he wears, and then I gave him an actual face that we can go ahead and look at. Overall, I'm pretty satisfied with the way that turned out. Now with the graffiti, I really liked this piece, standard. Like, he did a great job as far as letters are concerned. I noticed he had a compressed extension on the A, and I really wanted to add more of those, because I like compressed extensions, and there's more places he could have fit them. So we went ahead and added another one on the opposite A, just in order to help that flow a little bit more. We also went ahead and combined that compressed extension by lining it up with the bar of the A, as well as having it go right into his normal extension that he had from the top of that same A. We went ahead and fused some of these extensions into the letters themselves, because having it as a solid line that completely overlaps tends to look really tacky, especially in this case. So in order to increase flow, and to increase the amount of positive space, I went ahead and erased some of these areas, while still keeping Keeping the extension. Also, in the first A, the serif that comes off the bottom and then turns into extension to reach for the eye was a little bit shoehorned, so I went ahead and erased the entire extension and just readjusted the structure in order to fuse into the A. I wanted to go with a more monochromatic feel for this because it would have been easy in order to go ahead and just smack a color for the 3D, smack a color for the fill in, and call it a day. So I went all with one sort of color, just different shades. And it's something I think I want to do more of. I didn't want to go crazy with the fill in because when I do go crazy with the fill ins, I like like a lot of interior detail. And I felt for this piece specifically, I liked the open positive space that he had. So I wanted to keep that in the piece. And how do we do that? Basic fill-in. So here we have our two final pieces. We have some graffiti, which I think turned out really nice. Let me know what you guys think. And we have some character work, which was a complete redraw. And I like the way this turned out as well. I like doing this. All right, so first impressions. I had some trouble getting this thing set up. It wasn't as easy as just plug and play. Like most tablets, you may have some opacity issues issues, which this one did have. But I quickly hopped on support and they were super, super helpful, really, really nice, and we got the problem squared away relatively easily. Not to mention the fact that I figured out why every single tablet was giving me issues, including this one, and it's because my antivirus was messing with the tablet. Now maybe that seems obvious to people who are more tech savvy, but that's something as somebody who is not tech savvy, I would never have thought about. So when you go ahead and you pick this up and you start downloading the drivers, make sure you go ahead and you turn off your antivirus until it's fully installed and then start it back. 
back up. And if you do have run into any issues, contact support, they are really sweet and very helpful. And now that everything's squared away, the tablet works fine and I absolutely love it. I'm gonna go ahead and say for the price point and for the accessibility of this tablet, I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. This is really good stuff. Once again, huge shout out to Gammon for sponsoring this video. I really do love this tablet. And don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, I have a link down below. If you've wanted to pick up a tablet and you've been a little bit hesitant, this is a really affordable way to do it. I didn't know they made tablets this affordable. I really, I, I was honestly shocked. <laughs> guys, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the speed painting. I really enjoyed painting over and redrawing some of your guys' work. Maybe it's something we can do more of in the future. It was a lot of fun. It was, I think it was like a nice way to connect with the, with the community. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button. It helps out a ton. And for those of you guys who are first time viewers, feel free to subscribe and come out with weekly art content. I'll catch you guys next time, but until then, peace.